this motion. And so I, if, if, if this chair is unwilling uh, to do the right thing and to have testimony put on the record, um, and it's completely possible because, you know what, Mr. Chair, when it, when it came to, you know, us, you trying to grind or punish conservatives, you had all the time in the day. We could go to midnight uh, any night you wanted to. Now, suddenly, there's a lack of resources. This is the height of hypocrisy and a biased chair. And so MP Lawrence does some outstanding work here. Uh, the beginning of the Great Depression. Getting a hold of the, uh, of the you know, the chair to get the voice, the conch, as you say, as like, you know, like Lord of the Flies here. So he, uh, you know, this is debate. And um, he, like I said, he, this is a great maneuver and he wins the vote um on it did he uh, have it it doesn't matter the vote went and here check this out it's pretty enjoyable uh good tactics i would say of committee meetings um and unfortunately only 10 hours of witness testimony the rest of that time was filled with conservative filibuster today we are here fulfilling the next step of that motion that was passed by everyone under unanimous consent, which is to examine clause by clause, and you can see all the binders that are laid out here on the table. Uh, on this side, and I think on all other sides, we have prepared to come here today to discuss clause by clause. Uh, conservatives want us to believe that they were perhaps in the committee room hiding under the desks waiting for this meeting to start on Saturday and on Sunday and on Monday and on Tuesday, but of course, I think the fact that we first heard about this particular complaint on Twitter on Wednesday, four or five days after the fact, and the fact that they didn't call you or text you or use any of the normal means to place this objection, also speaks to the insincerity of this particular concern. Um, so I would suggest Mr. that all Mr. members... Chair. Uh, I, I for a technical uh, uh, glitch, as it were, uh, which was with respect to the House of Commons, I would have the floor. I... Um, Each has the floor, MP Lawrence, speaking to but, uh, speaking uh, to your motion. Yes, yeah, but I believe I still no, have the floor. No, P.S. Beach has the floor, MP Lawrence. Yeah, I, had the floor I, I don't believe that's correct. That's correct. So there was a technical reason, and I should still have the floor. Did not have the floor. P.S. <laughs> Beach, continue, Thank please. You. Uh, I'd also like to note that uh, Part A of the motion clearly states meetings. <laughs> The Conservatives chose to use that time not to hear from witnesses, but instead to talk to themselves about almost anything that didn't have to do with the BIA. So given the limited time that we have, the many officials that are present here to support us in this important work in studying this bill and all the work that have been done by all members and staff and the clerk point, and everyone point else. Of order. Point of order. Point Mr. Order. Chair, I'd like to challenge your ruling that I didn't have the floor. Okay, there's a challenge. Well, MPs, uh, Lawrence, Philip Lawrence's persistence has paid off big time. Um, he made the ruling and they said, no, no, I want to challenge it and go to a vote, which, you know, can be a, it, it's a hassle, especially you look kind of silly if he goes wrong. But and so I, he was from earlier. If, if, if this chair is unwilling uh, to do the right thing and to have testimony put on the record, um, and it's completely possible because, you know what, Mr. Chair? When it when it came to you know us you trying to grind or punish conservatives, you had all the time in the day. We could go to midnight uh, any night you wanted to. Now suddenly there's a lack of resources. This is the height of hypocrisy and a biased chair. And so the question is, shall the decision of the chair be sustained? Mr. Baker, sustained. Mr. Beach, sustain the chair. Mr. Hanley. Do not see Mr. A Haley. Replace it. Sustained. Mr. Hanley, okay. Uh, Ms. Derowitz? Ms. Derowitz, you are muted, ma'am. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot to put this down. I, I support the chair. It's sustained. Mr. McDonald? <laughs> Sustained. Mr. Chambers. Overruled. Mr. Halan. 
Overruled. Mr. Lawrence. Overruled. Mr. Morantz. Overruled. Monsieur Saint Mary. No. Mr. Blakey. No. Yes, pour. Five, cinq, nays contre, six, six. Is overruled. Okay. So, uh, yeah, MP uh, Lawrence, you have the floor. Oh, so in this instance, the NDP and the bloc voted with the conservative motion, giving uh, the the seat or the speaking uh, back to the conservatives. Thank you. So and I'd like to in read rank. into the record the following uh, letter uh, from uh, with respect to our members of this committee. We are writing to express our profound disappointment regarding the insufficient witness, witness testimony on Bill C-47, the Budget Implementation Act. The motion passed on May 16th, which was a result of collaborative efforts by Conservatives, clearly outlines the committee's objective of conducting a minimum of 20 hours of study before commencing clause-by-clause -clause consideration of the bill. However, as the scheduled time for the clause-by-clause -clause review approaches May 25th at 11 a.m., we have only received 10 hours of witness testimony. Conservatives were fully prepared and available to work diligently over the weekend, as well on Tuesday and Wednesday of this week, to ensure ample witness meetings took place. Regrettably, no such meetings were scheduled, which undermines the goodwill in which, uh, in which it was passed. The motion was passed on May 16th. Furthermore, it is disheartening for all Canadians who are eager to testify on the budget. Canadians need to have their say as they are struggling with the cost of living crisis. Budget 2023 budget proposes $60 billion in new spending. And since it was introduced, inflation in Canada has increased. Groceries are, are, are inflated by 10% per month and food bank usage are at record highs. I might add from the testimony of this very committee that uh, food bank experts, CEOs, and leaders were saying that the situation on the ground was quite, was quote, terrifying. One in five Canadians are skipping meals, and it is getting harder and harder for many to get by. On housing, rent, mortgage payments have doubled over the past eight years. Nine out of 10 young people believe that they will never own a home. These are issues that are concerning Canadians, and this is testimony this committee needs to hear. Considering that we are ten, it just goes to show this video partisanship and persistence it gives you the the speaking engagement and you know the seat and, and it gives you more opportunity to um, put your motion forward. So if he was quiet, it, you know that MP Beach and the Liberal side would have just carried on for uh, as long as he could, controlling it, just like um, controlling the puck or, or uh, and soccer, uh, you know. That's it out. So here's some deadly sins to uh, think about and have a good day. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. And yeah, have a good day again.